Hey everybody, this is episode number 13 in Paper World Tutorials. In this episode we will look at how to make continuously moving scenes with Paper World After Effects template. To start I have opened a new continuous scene 1 here and when we RAM preview this we can see that there is no movement in the scene. So to make the scene move, we will use only one slider in advanced controls. When this uh, layer is selected here, you can see there are two additional controls here on the effect controls panel, moving speed X and moving speed Y. So we will use in this scene, this moving speed X, which will make the scene moving horizontally and the Y speed will make it move uh, vertically. So when we change the value here to 5 and now make a RAM preview and now it looks like we are moving the camera horizontally to the left as we would have uh, animated the camera but uh, this is only created by this uh, one value change uh, we don't have to add any keyframes or animate uh, a camera here. So we have now this continuously moving scene and this value uh, will tell how fast this uh, goes. So the bigger the value, the, the faster the movement. And if we want to change direction, then we would uh, change here, uh, use here a negative value. So uh, a negative value here would uh, make the scene move in the opposite direction. So continuous scene, which is otherwise exactly the same as the uh, usual uh, scene creator or the base uh, scene in Paper World uh, template. Uh, but this is uh, with an option to make the scene uh, move continuously, is uh, created and designed to be used with frame elements. So all these elements which are visible here right now, these jungle trees, one, two, three, these layers, these all are frame elements, so these bigger elements which uh, help to create an environment. And we can of course uh, make uh, more layers by duplicating here, just by duplicating this last one. And then we can offset these using the position uh, value so they don't look exactly the same. So you get the idea, you can make more layers to create more perspective um, and uh, we can replace all these to create a city environment or a um, forest environment or whatever you are going to want to make with it. So uh, to show you, we'll replace this last layer. So now there's a, there's a desert or or a city. So you can uh, change everything here. And um, well, we now have this continuously moving scene, but not so much uh, action, nothing, no action yet. So what to use it for? We can now make this uh, I'll delete this cityscape layer, so we only have this jungle here uh, to make things faster. And uh, now we can turn on this uh, car, this pink colored layer here, which is an animated, uh, the normal size element. And uh, this is otherwise exactly the same as the others uh, with the effects and so on. But we have turned off this move element effect on effect controls panel. So this car when we RAM preview is right now animating itself but it stays at one place in the scene. So now this car looks like it's driving with the same speed as we are moving with the camera and uh, this is fine but we can also animate the car using the position uh, property to come into the scene so let's say it comes 
into the scene here. Then he drives for some time uh, with the same speed. Come on. And then it accelerates again. So now when viewing this we can see the car driving into the scene then uh, keeping uh, keep going for the with the same speed for some time and then accelerating and then it could be leaving the scene so you can animate these uh, elements mm, coming into the scene add some more doing some stuff there then leaving the scene or staying into this in the scene uh, we can add so many, uh, so many more elements here to do that. And um, you can create a whole uh, story with this scene if you don't want to change the environment and the continuously uh, moving uh, with the same speed is fine. So you can also uh, animate your camera using this cam control here. So. Um, I will show you one more important thing. So when we select all these three jungle tree layers and press S, then we can see that these all have the same scale uh, value right now. But let's say we want this, um, the third jungle trees layer to be uh, much more uh, in the background, uh, much smaller, uh, to look like uh, it's uh, far in the distance and this would create uh, more perspective into the scene so i would just make this uh, scale value smaller like 15 even and now it's pushed really uh, into the distance but we can see that uh, it doesn't cover up the uh, bottom edge and we can to correct this change the position so like this Okay, so now we can, um, let's make it even smaller. So let's say I would use it with a scale of 10. And now when we solo this layer, mm -hmm, covers up. So this is to show you, uh, this uh, control here under the move element effect is for that if you go for uh, a really small scale with the back uh, layers for example you want to push them really into the distance to look like this then you can correct this if they don't uh, um, cover the scene uh, it will be too small you can correct with this value here on the move element the output with i will turn this uh, to 450 or until the value when it covers the scene and now we are good. But what would happen when we put this value here, let's say 100, so it's bigger than the foreground layers. What happens then? Well, it looks uh, okay, we could use it like this. But when we make a RAM preview, so when uh, we RAM preview this, we can see that the last three layer now moves faster than the foreground layers. And this doesn't look correct, at least if these are real trees or supposed to be and not moving by themselves. So uh, the thing to keep in mind here that uh, when changing the scale values uh, for frame elements, which make up the scene, the scale value should be uh, going um, decreasing into the uh, distance. So for the first layers, foreground layers, it should be bigger. Uh, the scale value should be bigger than for the background layers from bigger value to smaller value. This is one thing to keep in mind. Or you could use it like this, but it um, will give a different effect than the real parallax in real world. 
And the other thing is uh, that these controls here, the moving speed X and Y, are not animatable. So don't try to do this uh, like a changing speed. You can only put here one value and it will be constant for the scene. And if you want to like make uh, an effect that uh, you have this scene moving uh, with one uh, speed and then you want to um, use the same environment and moving with a much slower or faster speed, then I suggest uh, that you make a whip transition which is included in this uh, pack on the transitions uh, into a similar scene where you have used a different uh, speed value here. So you can just make a duplicate of this continuous scene you have created and uh, use there a different uh, speed value here and then just uh, make a whip transition or any other uh, transition from one scene to another another so if you have any questions regarding this uh, making continuous scenes uh, please let us know uh, below in the comments and i hope you found this helpful thank you for watching and until next time we'll see you soon in a new tutorial